So in this video, I want to demonstrate how to use pivot tables. It's a very powerful tool to do analysis on, especially when you have a database that looks like this. So uh, we have the sales transaction database and some of the things that I'm going to do with my pivot tables, aggregating some of the information, some of the data to provide information. So for example, uh, here I, I want to find the total amount of revenue in each region. And we, you can tell here that Total amount would represent the information that you see on column F. Region, we have that information in column B. So we could aggregate this and, and figure that out. Now, uh, I have other items that I want to find, and I'll be demonstrating that. So for example, the second one says, find the total revenue in each region for each product. So we're kind of uh, getting a little bit more information at a granular level. And then the third one is saying, find the revenues by product for each region, right? So we're looking at similar information in different ways. And I'm also gonna be talking about ways to format your pivot table. I'll, I'll go ahead and demonstrate what I mean by that in a little bit. When you use a pivot table option, it doesn't really give you the best type of labeling and you might need to make uh, those changes, especially when you're gonna be presenting it to an audience. So the way that you would create a pivot table well, it's pretty simple. You'll you'll go to the insert tab and make sure that your active cells play somewhere underneath your uh, data fields. So it could just automatically select where your database is. And I'm going to select pivot table. And I have this box that appears. Uh, it's titled create pivot table. And it's selecting the range of my database. And that's, that is the range that I want, that I'm interested in. So I'm going to go ahead and I could either create my pivot table information on a new worksheet or keep it on the same spreadsheet that I have here. I will go ahead and just keep it on the same spreadsheet for now just to demonstrate that by selecting the second radio button. And for the location, I'll say go ahead and place the pivot table somewhere right here. And I'm going to leave everything else as is. I'll press OK. And you'll notice I have a pivot table fields pane that includes all of the fields in my database here. So customer ID, region payment, that's what's found here in my database. Um, I can just go ahead and go here. Here's customer ID. So the way these pivot tables work, uh, if you're new to this, you'll probably just want to just kind of experiment with them a little bit. Basically, what you'll do is you'll select a, a field and you'll place it in one of these four boxes here. Um, so since I'm focusing on uh, my on my first point here, it says find the it says find the total amount of revenue in each region. So let me just go ahead and just do a check mark here. And when I do that, a couple of things happen. So data distinct data values uh, that appear in the region column will appear. So east, north, south, west. And um, you'll also notice that region is also placed under the rows portion by default. Now, if, if that's not where you want it, you could go ahead and place it into columns easily by just left clicking on region and then dragging it over to columns. And you'll see how the table is now formatted a little bit differently here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it back into rows and I'm gonna select so the amounts variable and I, I'll look for it here in this list. I'll left click it and I'll bring it into columns. And notice what happens when I bring it into columns. I have a whole bunch of values that are part of the amount uh, data field. And, and this is not accurate. This is not how I wanna present my data. <clears throat> it doesn't make any sense. So I know that this is not the best place to place this variable. So I will go ahead and, and select amount again, and I'm gonna put it under the values box. So let me just go ahead and drag that down. I'm having a little bit difficulty with my mouse. Let me just drag it down okay and you'll notice here the pivot table now shows you some aggregate information so it's showing you the revenue by region 
and we are dealing with money in this case so i could do i can go ahead and format this a little bit differently by right clicking i'll go to value field settings and for the number format i'll say currency i can say currency or accounting um, is slightly different in the way that they format the dollar signs i'll just keep it as currency and i'll press ok and i'll press ok so that's pretty, that pretty much takes care of that first point that we have here where we found the total amount of revenue in each region. And I want to do uh, one last thing before I go off to that next uh, item. Uh, I'll, I'll be creating another pivot table for that. But I want to change the labels. So one way to change the labels here is you can just double click on that area and just delete what's already there and put whatever type of label that you're interested in. So I'm gonna say region here. And then for the sum of amounts, I will go ahead and I'll, just, I'll put revenue. So I'll just write over that. And there you have a pivot table that's formatted and it's aggregate information we are able to kind of assess how well these regions are doing in terms of revenue. So the next pivot table that I want to do is this, uh, based off of this information that we have here. So it says, find the total revenue in each region for each product. So I'll just go ahead and put my active cell anywhere underneath these data fields, go to insert, pivot table, and this is selected correctly. And this time I, I'm gonna leave it as defaulted where it says new worksheet. I'll press okay. And I am going to move this data tab over to the right hand side. And I'm gonna grab this text box that I created on my spreadsheet and just copy it over to the second worksheet just so I know what I'm trying to do here. And I'll make this a little bit bigger. And now it says here, find the total revenue in each region for each product. Okay, so region is gonna to go to rows. I'll say product will go to columns. So notice here is a little bit different from how I had it earlier, where we only had one column that represented revenue. But this second pivot table, we have two uh columns and each of these columns represents the product because now i have information in this part of the quadrant um, i'm going to select amounts and bring it down into values and i just want to change some of these labels i'll go ahead and say region or should I say, oh okay so pivot table name already exists uh, and that's because in my uh, previous pivot table that I created, uh, I have that label already. So let me just go ahead and say region two, just for demo purposes. Um, and that will take care of that. Or better yet, instead of region two, I'll just do region and then do two spaces. And that's one way to kind of work around that issue of uh, duplicate naming for a pivot table. Uh, so the next one is um, we can go ahead and give this the name product. So we know what we're taking a look at here. So the grand total is there by default. If that's something that you want, you don't want to uh, have appear there, you can easily just select it and remove grand total. So what I'll do is I select the entire thing, right click and hit remove grand total, and I can do the same thing here. I could also get this pivot table, copy it over to the first worksheet. I can place it right underneath the first one that I created, right? Um, if I wanted to show the grand totals again, right click, display 
column totals, show grand totals for rows, show grand totals for columns, press OK. And if I want to format the information, I could easily just format it. Right click the number portion of uh, value field settings, number format, currency, press OK, press OK again, and you get the uh, new number format.